United States has expressed its readiness to assist Nigeria identify sponsors of terrorism in the country. This was disclosed on Monday by the U.S. Ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Leonard, during a meeting with journalists in Abuja. When the envoy was asked if the U.S. was ready to help Nigeria identify sponsors of terrorism in Nigeria, she said talks were ongoing on the matter, the Punch reports. Leonard said, that is something we are very eager to partner Nigeria on. I have had at least three conversations in the last two months on this subject. I won't like to go into details. She also allayed fear that the U.S. partnership with Nigeria might end up like, the, like that of Afghanistan. According to her, Nigeria has had a strong bilateral relationship with the U.S., saying that the situations are not the same. She added, I hear people making the analogy with Afghanistan a lot. It does not match up. When you listen to what President Biden said on how troops were, how troops went to Afghanistan in the first place, it was because they were in a horrible tragedy. Over 3,000 Americans were killed. That is a different construct. The sovereign nations who have had strong bilateral relations I don't actually think the two match up. The commander, U.S. Air Forces in Europe, General Jeffrey Harrigan, said the purchase of Tucano fighter jets by Nigeria was an opportunity to cement the U.S. relationship with the West African country and curb insecurity. He said the A-29 Super Tucano gives us an opportunity to reconnect our relationship with Nigeria. It is also an opportunity to bring together the capabilities on the human side and what the A29 brings to the nation, practically as it would contribute to bringing stability to not only Nigeria, but the region. Hmm. They are talking about their own relationship. That's why you are selling the Super Tucano to them. I hope uh, all these ones uh, are not uh, just to deceive the people she said oh the the talks has been going on talks have been going on uh close to two months and she didn't even want to go into this is nigerians know what is happening all of them are playing politics whether international this or international that's all but nigerians know who these terrorists are but they don't want to admit it they told us that they have already arrested 400 people according to malami and the ambuhari They've arrested for, uh, 400 people who are Boko Haram sponsors uh, because this authentic triggered them when, um, what was this country? Dubai jailed some of the financiers of this uh, Boko Haram and at home they cannot find lasting solution. But they were able to go and get Namde Kano, get Igbowo. Those are the people who have been speaking and exposing and disgracing them. So they want to keep them down. But the more you do it, the more... People will continue to spring up, and I think they wanted to use that as a, as an, as a yastic, so that other people will be afraid that oh, if you do this, this is what they are ready for you. For you to know that there is a problem with the government, the Buhari government. All of these things are supposed to be going down gradually. The insecurity and all of the problems that we are facing, they are supposed to be going down or tackling them, and you just see that they will be facing us, but. Every day is aggravating. Now the military has told the Plato residents not to defend themselves. And what you'll be asking yourself, what have they done in the first place to have warranted that people will not have confidence in them? If they cannot protect themselves, who are they supposed to give a confidence or hope for that they are going to protect if you can't protect yourself? So you begin to wonder that the government has hand in all these things. Forget what uh, Governor Autumn is saying. Are you, you as a person, are you not seeing it? Must you be told? Must you be told of the happenings in this country before you know what is happening? You are waiting for somebody. Oh, somebody said this. Are we not experiencing it? Are we not seeing it? A lot of voices have been coming out to confirm what has been happening, what people have been experiencing and what people have been feeling. A government that is really serious, all these problems would have been diminishing. But no, they are escava eh, eh, escalating on a daily basis. And you want to tell us that they don't know what they are doing.
Well, Nigeria government is not ready. Wasted efforts. What happened if they help identify them? Beside the government, know them, and they are part of the government. So, think of what else to do. Not identify them. They know them. They know them. U.S. intelligence should know them by now. Just a courtesy call for the government to align. The president is not that hard to identify, though his existence is in different form and age. We don't need super hard work to know who their sponsor are. Not only to identify the sponsor of terrorism, please aid Nigeria break up. If U.S. is eager to help Nigeria in any way, they should help us to get our freedom and not identifying those who love terrorism with passion. We are no longer interested in knowing them. We are only interested in getting out of this nonsense. Forceful marriage called country. They will never do that because they are gaining. They are gaining. You can imagine what or you can deduce from what the woman said that they are selling all these things for them, for them to be able to cement their relationship with Nigeria. My question is that have they not are they not in partnership or are they not in relationship or whatever? All this why they have not been able to they don't have a relationship with Nigeria. Well, when you talk about uh, being instrumental to the breakup of this country to help, they are not going to help nobody. Forget it. They are not helping anybody. Nigeria government will never be interested in their help. They should give their that assistance to Biafrans to get their freedom. We worry let government ever accept USA assistance on exposing terrorist sympathizers when they are in Buari led governments just do it without their permission after all nigeria's nigeria can't do anything to you if you are waiting for these terrorist northern leaders to give you permission first then forget it we don't need your eagerness to identify them we need your support for a referendum but nigeria's attorney general claims that he knows the sponsors already the problem is with the reluctance to prosecute them the judas in the heart of nigeria leaders will not allow them to pick any interest in this a very big thanks to the u.s for their subjection subjection the truth of the matter is that buari and his northerners northern group should be held responsible for the insecurity and genocide that are taking place in nigeria history just look back at these 10 intriguing headlines in the past and make an overview where we are now security wise as a nation can we make many out of them mm -mm. waste of time Buari with pantami in his government and always forgiving boko haram weekly we never accept such help that is it they are forgiving them if you had if they identify them the next thing they will forgive them they will tell you that uh, they have repented just like uh, the presidency defended pantami that oh when he said what he said he was old I was young, now he's old, he now knows better. Oh, he has apologized. That's what I was telling you. They will never.